Prince Harry would be welcomed back to the UK and royal family if he wanted to return. It seems like Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex just announced Megxit. However, they are already in their final weeks as senior working members of the British royal family. Though things appeared to be going smoothly from the outside looking in, we've recently learned that can't be further from the truth. Megxit has caused a lot of pain, hurt, and confusion between the Sussexes and the royal family. While the royals feel blindsided by the Sussexes' announcement, the Duke and Duchess felt hurt and abandoned within the royal family. When Markle was being mercilessly attacked in the press, no one stepped in to help them. Despite the ill feelings about Megxit among the royals and UK citizens, experts believe Prince Harry would be welcomed back warmly if he ever chose to return. Things are a bit rocky between the Sussexes or the royal family. It's clear from their recent statement regarding Megxit and the loss of their brand name, Sussex Royal, that the Duke and Duchess aren't too pleased with how things have gone down. In fact, their statement had some terse words. While there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory, either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020, they said in a recent statement regarding Megxit. The trademark applications that had been filed as protective measures and that reflected the same standard trademarking requests as done for the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, have been removed. Allegedly, the Duchess is still insulted by the whole thing. Meghan said that, she and Harry, were left with no choice but to make a public statement, a source told the Daily Mail. She said if anyone should feel insulted, it should be them. They never intended to capitalize on the word royal, and to insinuate they were somehow abusing their privileges is absurd. She said she and Harry will continue to rise above jealousy and pettiness and focus on the good they are creating and on being the best parents to Archie. She said she will continue to champion Harry because out of everyone, he has the most integrity and the most loyalty. Queen Elizabeth thinks Megxit is just temporary. For now, like the Duchess of Sussex, the Queen is sick and tired of thinking about Megxit. April 1, 2020, can't come soon enough in her book. However, many fans believe the Queen sees all of this as a temporary drama. In fact, she already built in a clause that said Markle and Prince Harry's roles will be re-evaluated in one year, should they come back. They are making contingency plans in case the Sussexes suddenly turn round and say, can we come back under your wing? An insider told the Sunday Times. You could bring them back to Frogmore to look after them. They wouldn't return to royal duties, but they could have a period of rehabilitation and recuperation. Prince Harry would be welcomed back to the UK and the royal family with open arms. The British press and public have made it clear how they feel about Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, but Prince Harry will always be beloved. If Megxit it turns out to be a disaster royal expert believes he will be welcomed back. Good luck on this adventure in America and Canada, but I don't think it will be long before he misses this country so much that he will want to come back and become a fully-fledged member of the royal family," royal photographer Arthur Edwards told the Sunday I hope his self-imposed exile is short-lived, but at the moment he is doing what his wife wants and that is commendable. But the grass always looks greener over in the neighboring field. So, Harry, if you get fed up of making speeches to rich businessmen and you want to come back, just jump on the first plane and come home. We will welcome you with open arms. The love this country has for him has never stopped. As far as the nation is concerned he is still their number one member of the royal family. He will be welcomed like the prodigal son if he decides his future is here back in Britain in the world's number one family. Everything Prince William and Prince Harry have said and suggested about the kind of grandma Princess Diana would have been. Princess Diana was one of the most influential and beloved members of the royal family. One of the things that made many fans instantly fall in love with her was the fact that she seemed more like a real person than any of her stuffy and proper royal family members did. She liked to play by her own rules and she wasn't afraid to go against royal protocol to stand up for what she believed in. 
Another personality trait that dramatically set her apart from the other royals was the way that she raised her children. She went to great lengths to ensure that her children were treated the same as non-royal children were. Since she's no longer around, many wonder what type of grandmother she would be to her four grandchildren. Over the years, Prince William and Prince Harry have shed some insight. Princess Diana created an admirable legacy. On July 29, 1981, Lady Diana Spencer married Prince Charles and became the Princess of Wales. In 1982, she and Prince Charles welcomed their first son, Prince William. Two years later, they welcomed their youngest son, Prince Harry, into the world. Princess Diana was a very devoted mother. She wanted to make sure that her sons understood how the real world works and that nothing in life and life is promised to anyone. She raised a few eyebrows when she enrolled both Prince William and Prince Harry into public school. And she was praised when she made them do normal things like stand in line at amusement parks. Princess Diana wasn't just a loving mother, she was also a beloved humanitarian. During her time as the Princess of Wales, she devoted her time to helping other people and bringing awareness to certain stigmatized causes like homelessness, HIV and AIDS, and leprosy. Princess Diana seemed to truly care about other people. And because of her humanitarian work and the way she treated everyone with kindness, she was known as an international symbol of love. Tragically, Princess Diana lost her life on August 31, 1997, in a fatal car crash in Paris, France. She left behind two young sons and an entire world who mourned her loss. To this day, her death is surrounded by multiple conspiracy theories as to what had actually caused her car to crash into the wall of a Paris tunnel. Her sons continued to carry on her legacy. Both Prince Harry and Prince William take active roles in the charities that meant the most to their mother. They are both strong voices in the fight against HIV and AIDS as well as bringing awareness to homelessness and other charities. If Princess Diana were still alive today, there is no doubt that she would be proud of both of her children. Not only would Princess Diana would be proud of Prince Harry and Prince William, given the fact that she loved kids, she would more than likely be a very devoted grandmother. Today, Princess Diana has four grandchildren. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge have three kids, Prince George is six years old, Princess Charlotte is four years old, and baby Prince Louis is one year old. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex welcomed their first child, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, on May 6, 2019. What kind of grandmother would Princess Diana be? Unfortunately, Princess Diana was never able to meet her grandchildren. When Prince William was asked how his mother would have been as a grandmother, he had some sweet things to say. She'd be a nightmare grandmother, absolute nightmare. She'd love the children to bits but she'd be a nightmare," Prince William said jokingly. She'd come and go and she'd come in, probably at bath time, cause an amazing amount of scene, bubbles everywhere, bath water all over the place, and then leave. Prince William eventually admitted his mother would have made a lovely grandmother. Prince Harry's statements about Princess Diana's mothering reflects the type of grandmother she would be. When she was alive, we completely took for granted her unrivaled love of life laughter, fun and folly. She was our guardian, friend and protector, he said on the 10th anniversary of her death in 2007. She never once allowed her unfaltering love for us to go unspoken or undemonstrated. She will always be remembered for her amazing public work, but behind the media glare, to us, just two loving children, she was quite simply the best mother in the world. He also told Newsweek in 2017, she had the most wonderful sense of humor and always wanted to make things fun for us, as well as protect us. As a son I would say this, she was the best mum in the world. She smothered us with love, that's for sure, Prince Harry said in the HBO documentary, Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy in 2017. Prince William also has shared tidbits about his time with his late mother that hint at what kind of grandmother she would be. When it came to the wedding, I did really feel that she was there. You know, there was times when you looked to someone or something for strength, and I very much felt she was there for me," he said in the aforementioned HBO documentary.